Antibiotics against life are really only necessary when you have a infection that could be life-threatening or very problematic for your health. Um, now what happened to me is <clears throat> a while back I talked about having my wisdom tooth extraction done and my wisdom tooth in the back was infected and I was put on some antibiotics for two weeks. At the end of those two weeks, the infection was still there, so the dentist put me on another stronger antibiotic, and unfortunately that one gave me a lot of sharp pain in my stomach and also bouts of diarrhea, which was not very pleasant. So he took me back off that and put me back on the antibiotic that I was on for two weeks. Um, during that time, I really didn't notice too much going on with my stomach or my digestion. Uh, the only times that I had loose stools and diarrhea was when I was taking the stronger antibiotic. And I knew, I absolutely knew that, that there was something definitely not right with that. And I really didn't like it and I really wanted to get off uh, taking those antibiotics. So, <clears throat> um... I had the wisdom tooth extracted, I was relieved from the pain, but then I started to notice that about a, a couple weeks later, after it was done, my stools started to become very, very loose, and they've been loose ever since. And I did research and I found out that it could be associated um, diarrhea um, with use of antibiotics, and also um, the antibiotics can cause um, C. diff, um, the bacterium in your, in your gut, which can cause diarrhea, loose stools, and things like that, and it can actually become more serious and lead to megatoxic colon. Um, so, one thing that I should have done differently, and the reason I'm making this video is to let other people know this, is that whenever you're taking antibiotics, it's a really good idea to be taking a strong probiotic along with it because if you don't the bad bacteria will multiply and will really outnumber the good bacteria and that can lead to things like C. diff and toxic megacolon and colitis and IBS and Crohn's and you really don't want, the, want to experience those things. So being a smart intelligent health nut as I am, I decided to buy some Udo probiotic um, high potency colon blend and I uh, got that off iHerb and I'm going to be getting it in the mail soon but I'm going to be taking that to help heal my gut again and get that probiotics back in there so I can deal with this and uh, end this diarrhea stuff because it really is not pleasant and bacteria, <clears throat> like I said, are really, really important in your body. You really need good probiotics. And, you know, most people today are eating a standard American uh, junk food diet. They're eating lots of sugar. And they're eating a lot of um, meat that's got a lot of antibiotics in it. Now, the antibiotics kill off the good bacteria. But then, because they're eating so much sugar, like soda and monster drinks and energy drinks and all this stuff, uh, the sugar actually feeds the bad bacteria, and the bad bacteria rapidly multiply, and it creates a very unhealthy environment for your body. And of course, that can affect you, you know, your whole body. It, it can cause you depression, it can give you skin problems, hair problems, mental problems, stress. I mean, who doesn't have stress these days? Who doesn't feel depressed? Who doesn't have a lack of energy? It very well could be right in your gut. Um, as Dr. Mark Hyman says, your gut is actually your second brain. And your body's made up of trillions of bacteria. So it's a really, really good idea to, you know, get good bacteria probiotics in you every day. Whether that's from eating fermented foods like yogurt, kefir, sauerkraut, dill pickles or taking a really good high quality probiotic supplement.
Um, so, just thought that I would make this video because I think that it's a really important thing to um, understand and realize that, you know, without good bacteria, you really can't be as healthy um, as you want to be. Because without good bacteria, you really can't digest and absorb your foods. You can't keep a strong immune system. And your whole body will really just fall apart um, if you continue um, on without having probiotics in your body. And the bad bacteria will just continue to multiply and multiply until you're finally left with debilitating diseases like Crohn's and IBS. And this is certainly not a pleasant thing to have. And of course, there's natural ways to treat these problems without resorting to antibiotics again. Because the amazing thing that I learned is that if you take antibiotics and you get C. diff, then you go back to your doctor and guess what? He's going to prescribe you another antibiotic to kill the C. diff. You know, it's like, what? You know, so antibiotics cause the problems, they give you C. diff, and then they use another antibiotic to kill the C. diff, when really they should be prescribing probiotics. So, be careful of antibiotics, you know. I know that they can be helpful. They can, you know, get rid of infections and things. And they really save people's lives. But it's really important to make sure that you're taking probiotics with them. So, with that, take care. And I hope you all are having a great day. And if you would like to actually <clears throat> look at Udo's probiotics, I will give you a link down in the description box that you can click on. Um, that will take you to iHerb where you can purchase those and I will give you my code REK978. If you're a first time customer, you can save $5 off that product. So have a great day and see you later.